Well, we're back in the studio. The mics are back on, and this is Radio Entrepreneurs. My name is Jeffrey Davis. I want to thank all our listeners, thank everybody involved with the show, but especially we always want to thank our hosts at MTP Software, the leader in sports and entertainment CRM. Our next guest, Jim Demus, uh, founder and creative director of Fat Bassett Design. And I see that fat Bassett right there right on there. that mug. <laughs> Welcome, Jim. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Jeff. I appreciate it. Tell us about Fat Bassett. So Fat Bassett Design is a graphic design studio. That's what we do, but we like to go by our purpose, and that's to challenge a small business owner to think differently about graphic design. And we do this through logo design, through branding design, through package design, um, any way that we can communicate to their, to their consumer, to their base, what it is they do and what it is they have. So that's kind of the short version of it. Right. And what kind of projects do you do for clients? So what we'll do, I have a lot of beer clients, thankfully. Uh, my background is in beer. I worked for Sam Adams for about 10 years and then carry that over into what I'm doing now. So I design labels for beer companies, design a lot of packaging for them. Um, that also translates into other small businesses where I design logos for them. I design their branding strategy. Uh, you know, it, basically anything that has a visual component to it is what I do. Uh, you know, um, beer being a packaged good, are you yeah. doing mostly packaged goods stuff? I am, yes. Yeah, for mostly the most part. Mostly food industry? Mostly food industry. Um, as I you know, mentioned before the interview, uh, working with a coffee company out in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, but again, because of my background, the lion's share of my clients are beer uh, companies. Um, we have you know, many in Massachusetts, one in New Hampshire, down oh, in South Carolina. There's lots of microbrews out there. A lot. A yeah. lot, yeah. It's and it's exploding. You know, it's only going to keep growing. Right now, that um, Americans have realized that there can be good beer. Exactly. I mean, craft breweries are the new coffee shops. Right. You know, whereas years ago people always wanted a coffee shop. Now they all want craft breweries, and you know, it's it's great for small business owners. It's great for for drinkers that are looking to explore. And it's also good for me, being a little selfish, where this is kind of my bread and butter. So now I can work with these breweries to help communicate. You know what they're. You know, what the style is of the beer they're trying to get out there to the consumers. Right. Yeah. Uh, anything unique to the beer industry that uh, makes it particular for you where you have a competitive advantage? That's a good question. Um, I think what's unique about the beer industry that gives me a competitive advantage is that all, I, I like to think of it like this, beer people are good people. And it's easy to talk. And because they're high? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. no, because they're drunk. No, no. no uh, beer people are good people in the sense that they're easy to talk to. Because they passed out on the couch. They, well, they're waking up from passing out on the couch. Right. They don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, they're just easy to talk to. They're easy to communicate with. They're very easygoing. They're also cognizant of the fact that, you know, their product is something that people want. And they're looking for the different avenues that they can take to get that beer out there, whether it's through marketing, through sales, through design, um, you know, through depletions, through, you know, selling to liquor stores, just any avenue out there to be able to communicate that. And it, what makes that easy for me is just because, like I said, beer people are, are easy to talk to. And I'm, you know, I, I like working with them to kind of fill a need and it's easy to communicate with them what it is they're looking for, what it is they need. And to be able to do that in a creative sense is really a strength for me. And it also benefits them because they're so focused on the beer that 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 side of them doesn't have time to really focus on, you know, what's going to be on the label. Um, you know, it's I get to work with them. I get to talk with them. I get to commun communicate with them. And decide, okay, what it is? What are what are you trying to say? Like wh when you're trying to sell to you know the Jeffs of the world, what it, what are you trying to say to them when you're not there to actually say it? So when it's on a shelf in a liquor store, or when it's on you know in a cooler at a barbecue, what are you trying to say to those drinkers when you're not there to actually say it? And there's many ways to do it. Uh, sometimes through simplicity. Uh, I work with one brewery where all they want is just what style of beer this is on the on the label. Then I work with others where they want to get a little bit more creative. They want to think a little bit more outside the box and kind of explore the space. Speaking with Jim Dumas, founder, creative director of Fat Bassett Design. Uh, Fat Bassett Design, anybody else other than you? <laughs> well, I, I say we. I, I say we for a reason. It is just me. I'm the only designer. I'm the one that's pushing the papers, answering the phones. I say we because, um, and this is a longer story. but No, I, I, I always tell clients, stop saying I. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, it, started, it started with my wife pushing me to do this. So I say we because if it wasn't so for her. So that was a she. 
She, yes. She, if it wasn't, if it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't she for pushed her. the we, which she was you. She pushed the we. <laughs> and if, so if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be doing this. Uh, in addition to that, I work with my two dogs, Stan and Gus. Behind every so. mediocre man is a great woman. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I, couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure every wife couldn't say it better. Do you do social marketing as well? Do you get involved with that? Get your hands in there? No, that's a good question. I, I don't. Um, I do my own social media, but I look at design and this is a subjective point of view. I look at design like building a house. You know, when building a house, you have a carpenter, a plumber, electrician, so on and so forth. Within design, you have designers, you have, you know, social marketers, you also have, um, you know, web designers. You know, I, for me, I could be good at a lot of things or I could be great at a couple of things. I'd rather be great at a couple of things and allow somebody else to be great at those other things as well. So I focus on the logo design and the package design and allow somebody else who I can then work with later on to focus on social marketing, focus on web design. So, you know, uh, I hate to ask you, this is like asking someone which one of their kids they like the best. <laughs> Do you have a favorite logo and brand design you've worked on? Oh, well, like every father... They're all my favorite. <laughs> no, what, what I say to all of my clients well, is Well, but I you must not... have had certain ones where you sort of feel like lightning struck. Um, yeah, there are... Because even artists like some of their paintings better than others. You're, you're absolutely right. There are a few where it just kind of clicked from the beginning. And you get that, you know, for every design, I put 20 to 30 sketches down on paper before moving forward. And there are a couple of times where that first sketch just was it. A good example of that is Lamb and Lou. Um, Caitlin Litchfield, I worked with her and one of the first drawings that I put down on paper was the eventual logo she chose. Another one is Athletist, um, down on the South shore. Uh, that was another one where one of the first I put down was the one they chose, but you still have to go through the process. You still have to flush out all of those ideas. Um, that being said, I give multiple versions to every client because I would never give them something that I wouldn't want them to choose. So I don't give them one in hopes that you know, they choose that and then two others that I hope they don't choose. I give them three or four, hoping that they choose one of them. And eventually they do. Now, I don't know if it was you or your wife who picked this, but who picked Fat Bassett? Ah, uh, that was me. That right. was me. That started as, as a little joke. We had a Fat Bassett hound named Josie who's since passed. But we used to joke around that, you know, we'd want to quit our jobs, start a little coffee shop called Fat Bassett Coffee Shop. And that kind of evolved into something else. So when I decided to start this, it just kind of made sense. Oh, well, that's very nice. Well, I'm, I'm a big dog lover, so. Oh, likewise. You, you got likewise. my soft spot. <laughs> uh, Jim, if somebody's looking for Fat Bassett Design and your help with branding and logos, uh, how would they do that? Oh, I'm on, you can go to fatbassetdesign.com. Uh, we're also on, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Fat Bassett Design. And you can also give us a call. Uh, 774-279-1302 is our direct line. And then you can email me directly. It's jim at fatbassetdesign.com.